Hi, this is Gerald with Primo Web Solutions. Today I'm going to walk you through the post installation wizard for VirtualMin. Uh, this is to be completed as soon as you finish the install script for VirtualMin. So first thing we're going to do here is access the control panel by visiting the, our IP address, port 10,000. When we pull up the web page, we can go ahead and sign in for the first time as our root user. Once we're signed in as a root user, we'll just go through the post installation wizard steps. So we'll hit next. Okay, uh, now we can go ahead and select the system settings based on our own system configurations. Most cases you can select yes for both of these options. Uh, most production systems will have plenty of RAM. Uh, I'm, it's very rare to see a dedicated server with less than a gig of RAM. Go ahead and hit next. Again, same difference here. Uh, I'll just select yes. If you need to select no for whatever reason, if you don't have enough RAM, you can do so. And we hit next. Okay, I typically use MySQL. If you want to use the other option here, you can do so. Um, I'm going to leave it at the defaults. And I'll go ahead and hit next here. Now you need to set up your MySQL password. Um, by default, you, you want to adjust it so it's there's an actual password versus no password. Okay, once you enter your password and hit next, you'll go ahead and choose your configuration size. Uh, again, if you have two gigs or more, you would choose large. This is on a virtual machine, so I just have a gig dedicated to this. So I'll just choose large. Okay, as soon as you choose your option, just hit next. And now here we can go ahead and enter our name servers. Sometimes your name server might not resolve if you haven't actually pointed it or created it yet. Um, if that's the case, you can go ahead and check the box for skip check for resolvability. So if you get this error, just check that box and hit next. Okay, plain text passwords are usually not recommended. It's not very secure if somebody was snooping around your server. Um, so we'll go ahead and use hashed passwords only. Okay, so now the post wizard installation steps are completed. We'll hit next and we're going to click the recheck. And this is just going to go through and check our configuration. Usually a mailman isn't enabled, so we'll go ahead and start the mailman service. Just find mailman and check the box next to it. And then scroll to the very bottom of the page and simply click start. And once you do that, uh, it'll continue to say starting service mailman. I've never seen it actually give any kind of completion notice or status. So you can just go back to system settings, recheck configuration, and this will go back through and recheck everything. Since I have this set up on a virtual machine behind an NAT firewall, um, I would need to make a few other adjustments. I'm not actually going to be using this in a production environment, so it's going to show my external IP, but I'm not going to do any port forwarding setups uh, to give access to this machine. But in a production server, of course, you can go ahead and adjust your IP settings by clicking that link down below.